Over the years, Gears of War has had its fair share of crossovers into other video games, and some have been pretty awesome, so let's look into all of this together. As always, I'm your host Abs, and here is a look into Gears of War in other games. Marcus and Dom in Lost Planet 2 In April 2010, Capcom's Lost Planet 2 was released, a third person shooter that had larger than life action, selling over 2.3 million units worldwide after release. This game was huge at the time, and was adored by many. Capcom were fans of Gears of War and Epic Games' work, so they contacted Epic, who then sent over Marcus and Dom's model for implementation. The crossover of having the badass duo Marcus and Dom was dope, kicking ass in a completely different world and planet. They were only of course available on the Xbox 360 version, and I for one loved this trailer. Skins in Minecraft On Minecraft's Xbox 360 edition, there were multiple Gears of War skins released in different packs. Skin Pack 1 had the Locust Drone, the Coltrane and Clayton Carmine. Later on, Skin Pack 2 had Marcus Phoenix, Scourge, Anya Stroud and Damon Baird. And then in Skin Pack 3, we had Gears 3 Cole and Sam, which I guess was pretty cool as well. Rocket League Armadillo in February 2016, the heavily armoured COG APC from the Gears universe, the Armadillo, was added to Rocket League and was exclusive to Xbox One players. It could only be unlocked after completing an entire season of single player season mode. It wasn't compatible with any other wheels, apart from Armadillo wheels, and it was also only compatible with the UV turret rocket boost as well, which I think were nice little touches. In terms of customization, you could only change the colour of the armadillo, nothing else. This was a pretty sweet crossover, and I remember unlocking and equipping it at the time. Fortnite skins Unfortunately, Marcus Phoenix joined the dark side by entering the world of Fortnite, where we could see him hitting the floss and so on. Never thought I'd see Marcus hitting moves like that. It really is a mad world. No, 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 no. What do they do to you? Look how they mess with my boy. But this was inevitable, given how Fortnite changed the gaming industry. So for Fortnite and Gears of War's collaboration, it was Marcus and Kay Diaz. There were three pickaxes, from the Breaker Mace, the Tremor Hammer, and the Butcher Cleaver. For Backblings, there was the Sonic Resonator from Gears 1, as well as an enlarged version of Rainer's Pendant on a necklace as well as a knife trick emote and some sprays. For this crossover, I think given how unique Gears of War is, this collab was a major missed opportunity to showcase an awesome Locust skin and some other cooler skins. For a back bling, they could have easily had the Lancer or the Nasher, so to not have that was pretty stupid, and a huge L if you ask me. General Ram in Killer Instinct Moving to one of the best Gears collabs ever was the arrival of the Locust High General Uzil Ram in Killer Instinct. This was and still is amazing, and I really loved the inclusion of Ram in Killer Instinct, using his serrated sword and the Krill to destroy many opponents. Fighting against the Arbiter from Halo and the other Killer Instinct favourites was really cool. This is probably my favourite Gears of War crossover to date, and I hope to see more similar to this in the future. Fall Guys skins Fall Guys, just like Fortnite, also saw many iconic video game characters enter their game, but this time as Beans. So Marcus and Kate returned here as well, but it was classic Marcus instead, and General Ram arrived too, which is pretty funny. The Beans actually looked really detailed, and General Ram had the best design and skin, which is no surprise. Locust Butcher in Infinity Blade 2 
In the game Infinity Blade 2, which was released in December 2011, the iconic Locust Butcher made an appearance as a giant enemy. Like the Headsman enemy, the Locust Butcher could be found guarding the sky cages in front of a guillotine. Although you wouldn't encounter the Locust Butcher very often. The Butcher is much bigger in this game compared to the Gears universe, and used a weapon called the Cleaver Grinder, which is based off their Butcher Cleaver, except it has a longer handle. Sea of Thieves Ship Set Sea of Thieves released the Crimson Omen cosmetic ship set, which was given to players who played the game at least once between specific timeframes in 2019 and 2023. This was a really awesome and badass looking ship set, with Gears inspired cannons, flags, wheel and more. The Lancer in Wasteland 3 Finally, we have the Lancer Assault Rifle, which appeared in Wasteland 3 as a retrievable weapon. And the description stated that it was a futuristic looking AR, unlike anything seen before in the Wasteland. But the chainsaw doesn't work. Looks like it's got a cog loose. I love that last sentence, that was a nice little nod. All of the collabs in this video make you wonder what crossovers could take place in the future between Gears of War and other gaming IPs. An idea I would give would be to add a Carmine skin into a COD game, cause that would be money and the majority of the soldiers in COD multiplayer are so bland and the uniqueness of Gears would stand out so much there. And now that COD is owned by Xbox, I say why not? That would be huge marketability given COD's player base and I believe Gear Soldiers would suit the world of COD multiplayer as well. I'd also recommend something to do with Halo too, but since Halo Infinite customization has more of a focus on armor and helmets, why not throw in a COG helmet in there as well? That would be pretty sweet. And that, my friends, is Gears of War and other games so far. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more similar content like this, and a special big thank you to the YouTube and Patreon members for your extra support of me and the channel. Thank you so much, I'm your host Stabs, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.